Where have you been? It's like I waited all my life So happy that I found Another one of the Kendall walks, starting off today in a village which is just outside of Kendall called Natland. This is one of my favourite walks in the whole area. It's the River Kent, which I've just shown you a little image of, which is the fastest flowing river in England. It starts here, we're going to head our way to Sedgwick and there's just loads of history and it's just an amazing walk that I'm going to show you now. I've actually filmed quite a few videos along it, but I'm not showing it you in a time walk so you can just see it and you're just, just looking at it now. Absolutely wicked. Can't wait to get started. Let's get the dog out. Right, we're just about to start off this magnificent walk. If you've not subscribed yet, press the bottom right icon. You'll see a subscription. Subscribe, see more videos like it. Anyone, right, we're finishing off the Kendall walks now. So if anyone's got any walks within, like North, North Lancashire, South Lakes, let us know. We're going to start coming and visiting places. Let people know about them. some amazing places. And hopefully I have had... had a nice bit of uh, positive advice on the way. Enjoy this next walk. There really is something soothing about that. Just the river slowly gliding down, looking at all, all the years of it passing through. It's just phenomenal. It's the 12th of April today. The UK is opening up. All the youngsters will be in the pub tonight. I don't think I will be. Hairdressers are open, I'll be getting my hair cut tomorrow, so things are starting to turn around and uh, the, the, it's starting off frosty and cold in the morning, but the weather's turning as well, so we're getting some sensational mornings. Yeah, I've got a couple, of, I've been reading, I've started a couple of new books, so I've, uh, yeah, I've got a hell of a, hell of a little story to tell you about, something to think about in your own personal identity. We'll get that, let's get back to the walk now. This is, this is a phenomenal one. We're gonna end up passing some gunworks factories, an old, an old gunwork manufacturer. Just some beauty by the river. So this is uh, Kendall, this is the River Kent, starting from Sedgwick in Kendall. No, sorry, sorry, it's the River Kent, starting from Natland in Kendall, making our way to Sedgwick, which is a beautiful village, about four I've miles out of Kendall. This shy, but haven't felt this in a while now. So sad when we are apart If you leave, you break my heart I need you To need me too Stay with me when it's getting dark Hold me tight, close in your arms I want you To want me too Why is it so hard to just be honest? Why is it so hard to speak the truth? Wow! Supposed to be going to Liverpool today to shoot another day, uh, video with Liam but he couldn't do it last minute so I had to change my plans so this is a perfect plan change. So when my plans were made and I had to change them yeah you're a bit like oh, I'd plan that but I think a lot of people are going to get a shock today especially in the UK they, they believe lockdown restrictions are going down today and they'll think, ah, oh, we're going to be happier then. But they'll fall into the trap of the, when I crew, when this happens, when this becomes, I will be happier. When really happiness is from inside. Your life's not going to change today, but people perceive it will be. And after a bit, what they realise is, is them things that they think are going to make us happier, they don't. And we then need something else to make us happier. So when we place material things on what will make us happy or or events that'll make us happy. What we find is they're not. Happiness comes from in here and you've got to make it yourself. Getting excited about things. I do really well on Mondays at getting back into a structure of happiness. Like before I get out of my bed, I start thinking, lying in bed thinking, what kind of day is today's going to be a good day. Today is going to be, and I start saying it. I'm not, you know, we do videos and think people think that you're not doing the things you do, but I've, I do that. I do it a lot for during the week because my work relies on me having to pick it up because I don't work for anyone so so uh, let's get back to this one now and I'll take you to the next part where the buildings are why is it so hard to just be honest when I want this maybe you want it too so I just need to tell you
I nearly went there. I nearly went. <laughs> Trying to get a bit of thing of adventure on it. Oh, what a day today is. Feel absolutely immense. I read this amazing thing in a in a. It was actually on a, an Instagram post, and it was talking about who you are and who you think you are. So who the, who we think we are is often independent to only us. Because you think about your life and how it's made up, the, the amount of people you just say all right to, you know, all right? You never spoke to them, you just say all right. They have an opinion of you. Your friends have an opinion of you. Your work colleagues, your family, um, everyone has these opinions of you, no matter what, people you play football with, people you do events with, people clubs you go. But everyone's made up an opinion of you, of who you are. So they're all independent. So what who you think you are is not actually that. That's the only person who thinks that is you. You think that. Everyone else has made up a different identity for you based on their limited amount they know about you. So when we start thinking about who I actually am, who I actually am is a thousand different versions of it. We can be the version that I think I am, but in reflection that everyone sees through their eyes a different version of you. And it just made me start thinking, wow, when you start thinking of it like that, that really it gives an opportunity. You could be a thousand different versions of you. And once you start thinking that, you start you start thinking that you could be a diff you can arrange a different version of you when you want. So if you're struggling with who you are at the minute, if you want, someone else will see you in a different thing. They won't see you as a struggle, but everyone's image of you is different. So you can change the image of you at any time. And it was when I thought about that. So when you think whoever you are is changeable you can change you and i believe in you as well to do it let's get back to this walk again and hopefully i won't fall over <laughs> she can't get down here she's absolutely devastated i don't know if i can get back up i'm coming up here miles i mean am i am i oh no it's just a silly mistake oh shit, okay. i do these a lot Oh, imagine if I injure on camera. I don't know. Oh, injure on camera. You gonna help me, Miles? Just push off up there. Oh, oh, oh! Ah. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Nice to see people back out, holiday in. Brilliant. What's this campsite called, bud? What's it called, the campsite? Uh, it's called Kendall. I know, but it's got the wood. It goes by the woods near. And I should know this because I live in Kendall. Yeah, I should know because I work here. I know. know. <laughs> it's, uh, it's on the map, mate. And I, don't, I, don't, I can't tell you at the minute. <laughs> it's lower something wood but that's L lower the, wood right yeah, okay we just refer to it as the kendall site ah know, right okay right, yeah. it's good to see people back have you been before oh, I mean, do you, yeah you, of course you yeah 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 i'm local yeah yeah yeah, yeah. it's a uh, nice looking site it's different because most caravan sites they're just you know round circle yeah one two three four and all the everything this is looks a bit the different, same. different yeah. right so probably should want a campsite should be yeah it's brilliant it's a brilliant area i've just done you know that, that's the old gun work powder down there that's yeah, just yeah. It's beautiful yeah have you seen the range What's the range? Uh, yeah. what, the what is the range? You see that avenue of trees, which looks nothing yeah. significant. But if you look through there, yeah. you would never notice it. What they used to do there to test the gunpowder and the velocity and how far it goes, they used to fire it straight up there. No way. Yeah. Quality, Interesting facts out of my... Quality control, if you like. A bit of quality control. When the gunfire, if you just look, you can see like it's straight in between the two trees there. This really helpful guy just told me that used to be used to the gun rage for the velocity of the gunpowder. So they'd shoot it in between them trees. Wow, you think of the power that's gone in between there in the time. Wow, that must have been mental. But it just goes literally right through the middle of them. Wow. <laughs> so that's the, he was saying that this is just called Kendall. It's just called the Kendall, I might say it on this sign, Kendall campsite, but it's right in between Kendall and Sedgwick. Beautiful place. If, it's by the, ah, it says it there who it's by. So if you wanted to know where it was, it will be on that website. 
and it's described as the Kendall, the Kendall campsite, but oh, it's a lovely place, beautiful, right by the river, right near the lakes, but it's got all the attractions in and around Kendall, Sedgwick, right next to Levens as well. We've just come from Natland today from Horsbridge. Beautiful. Beautiful, recommend it totally. Recommend get, get you know, 12th, the UK is opened up today. Let's get out, let's get spending, let's get this economy booming and make people feel back at work and like everything's moving on. That's our choice. Our entitlement is, you know, to get everything moving back again and make it all normal. Yeah, it's not going to be quite the same normal as before, but who cares? It's better than being sat in our houses, I'll tell you. Because even me, who's a motivational soul, I've been getting a little bit bored. I have, I don't even do lots with any difference, but I need that little bit of stimulation I'm looking forward to. Let's get back to it. This is cool. Look at that. Free range fr uh, fresh eggs for sale. Turn right, first house on the left. That's when you know you're in the countryside. Beautiful. Marketing on a, you know, any marketing's good marketing for, for any business people out there. That'll make sales, but it is quaint and beautiful and lovely. And this is just the loveliest bridge you've ever seen in your life. Back to it. I started reading um, The Secret came out in 2006 and funnily enough all the information that's in The Secret I've never I'd never read The Secret but I'd read other books that got me in the line of the idea that everything was in our power to achieve that those who are the most successful people often that yeah, some are born into money and that helps and whatnot but not everyone all of us have got the same opportunities to succeed it's how we go about that way of succeeding and believing ourselves and giving belief. So I started reading the new one, which is, um, I think it's the secret of the, of the powerless, uh, another, I started reading it last night, but it's the new new book of the secret. I'll add it in, I'll add it as a comment section. But I started reading it, it was talking about the body just being a vessel, that we are the energy that lives inside of it. And once we get used to the fact that this is the vessel, the outside, but when we were born, our energy was put in this body and it'll grow with the body. And when the body leaves the world, our energy will go somewhere else. And that's what I believe in. It's interesting when I started reading it last night, it reminded me when my mum died, she she was ill for only six weeks and then she died. But when she died, you, you wanted her to die. She, she had cancer and she was coming to the end of her life. And I remember when she died and she was on the bed and I thought, I'll just, I'll just lay with her. And I went back, laid next to her. Instantly, I just got up because I knew at that moment that that was only my mum's vessel. She had gone, the energy had gone. And within a millisecond, I lied next to her. And I knew there and then that she'd gone and that was just the body left. So it's really started, I, my mind has already been opened up to that, that the energy that we are is ever going, it's not going to die, energy doesn't die, it's going to go somewhere after we've been here today. And it's interesting to think that, yeah, I look after my, bod my body and make it work as well as I possibly can, but looking after the mind's a more important thing. Your energy that's in your mind and making it focus that the, the mind lives in the body, just like the body and the mind are separate things and our energy is inside that and just enjoying the experience of having a body you know and, and, and enjoying the experience of of life by try, starting to understand that you know little oh, I can't, I'm sort of losing my track of what I'm trying to say is basically that what I'm trying to say is What am I trying to say? Don't know. 
I think basically what I'm trying to say is that to understand that we are this energy and yeah we're in this body and this is the body that I live my energy in that when we start to understand that we'll be leaving the body behind at the end of this journey to understand that we're free flowing and keeping going I think it's to illustrate the point that that time this body goes through you might be in another body after that I don't know whether that's true I'm not suggesting that it is but I'm suggesting that energy keeps going forever and just enjoy the body you've got and enjoy the world and the life you've got and start remembering that life is about what you do and how you go about it and you create a good life by doing good things and good habits and doing the right things in order to do it that's your path and you can do that so I want to see us all doing that a little bit more, but back to the walk now. Back to finish off this walk with my little doggy there waiting. That's forever. Why is it so hard to just be honest when I want this? Maybe you want it too. So I just need to tell you. Hey, what's up? Runners up there, here's a good story. That's one of my good friends, his wife, who um, she retired from work and just went fitness crazy. She's one of them crazy people who does the, that's probably her crew actually. They do swimming in the lakes in the freezing cold, no wetsuit on. She's one of the loveliest people I know in my whole world. Just seeing her then, she's just so kind and nice and makes me feel good. I love seeing her. But yeah, we're getting to the end of that. This is the end of the, the walk from Hawes Bridge through to Sedgwick and a turn around. So we're getting towards the end of, end of, the, end of the Kendall now. So uh, thanks for watching this one. Don't know where the next one will be, but I'll finish on this little note. You've got the power to have the life that you want as long as you start creating a life that gives you what you want. So if you're not getting the things that you want, it's because you're not doing certain things to give it to you. So let this be the spark to you that people don't just have good and happy lives. They create them by doing things every day that go on to create a goal, uh, be it be it a goal in, in, in work and life or a happiness goal. And they do it by sequence and events. So if you watch this and you've flipped off your thing, remember, we all flip off. We just have to get back on. So when we have a fall down, we just get back on and we start again. Thanks for watching. Here's still the next video. Oh, just finishing the walk. Instead of just lifting that up to let the dog in, I just smashed my knee on it. You know when you do one of them smashes and you think, oh my God. Oh. Why is it so hard to be? Why, why is it so hard to be honest? To be honest. Why is it so hard to be? Why, why is it so hard to be?